Okay, kiddos, let's uh, quickly talk about our last part of these notes for today. Uh, and this is stepping up to the next level. See, so these are questions that are going to be on our DCP especially. It's the dimensional change by the scale factor. So remember the scale factor, remember, is how much larger, which means how many times larger, right? And we know times means multiply, right? So how many times that we're going to multiply, okay? So if we're going to multiply, uh, let's check this out, right? So basically this says is we have this triangle right over here, and this is side is 3, this is 4, this is 5, right? So if we found the perimeter, right, the perimeter, if we added all the sides, would be 12 inches, right? Well, if we said the scale factor of the new triangle was the scale factor of 2, Okay, that means we we would multiply uh, times two, right? So we would take that uh, perimeter of twelve and times two, so the new perimeter would be twenty-four, right? Um, and then if we did it times three, right? So times three, that would be right here. It would be thirty-six inches, right? If it was times four, right? It would be four times that twelve, which would be forty-eight. However, if we do the area, okay, the area of a triangle uh, is um, base times height divided by 2. Okay, perimeter is adding everything. So if we did base times height divided by 2 uh, for, the, for this one, it would be 6 square inches, right? But if we do the area, it's actually going to go to 24, which that would be the 6 times the 2 from here, but then we would square it because we're finding area, okay? So that's why that one's equal to uh, 24 instead of uh, the first area of 6. So we did 6 times 2 squared, which would give me 24. So then on the times 3, okay, well, that would be our original area of 6 times 3 squared. Right, so that's the same thing as six times nine, which is fifty-four. Okay, so then if it was times the scale factor of four, right, perimeter we would just multiply times four. On this one, we would take that same area, right, and we'd say six times four squared, right, instead of just six times four. So on the area is the squared multiple. Okay, so area is the squared multiple. So perimeter just multiply. Okay, so keeping that in mind, let's get into some examples. So let's look at these two examples. I got two for you, and I think this is all we need. All right, so it says the square below is dilated. So dilated means uh, make larger or smaller. Um, versions, right? So we're just going to we're going to make larger or smaller versions of something. So by a scale factor of five, okay. So here's our critical thing. We, we're going to say a scale factor of five, right? So that means multiply times five. So it's going to be five times larger. Right? And that makes sense, right? But we're going to multiply everything over here times 5 to get to here. So if it's 5 times larger, if this side is 9, right, and says it's a square, square means all sides are equal, right? So if it, if it says that's square, then that means that's 9, that's 9, and that's 9, right? So how much would this be? Well, if it's 5 times larger scale factor of 5, then we would say 9 times 5, right? 9 times 5 is 45, right? So that would mean this is 45, right? It means that's also 45, right? That means that has to be 45. It means that has to be 45, right? So let's figure out uh, these, all right? So the given square, right? That's the original one. The perimeter is equal to 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9, right? So that's going to give us 36, Right? The dilated, okay, the dilated is the new one. Okay, given is the old one. Okay, the new one is 
this one right over here. So we know perimeter. Once again, we're going to add all the sides. So the perimeter on this one's going to be that 45 plus 45 plus 45 plus 45, right? Well, that's going to equal to 180. 180. And we know that because we said before, we're going to just multiply it by that factor, right? So 36 times 5 is equal to 180. Right? So then, what's the area? Well, the area of a square is going to be equal to uh, the area is going to be equal to base times height, right? So that's going to be on the given, which is the old one, right? That's going to be 9 times 9, right? So that's going to be equal to 81. You can do it like that. That's going to be equal to 81, right? Uh, but on this one, okay, so this one is going to be the area of the dilated, right? So the dilated we know is the new one, okay? So that's going to be equal to uh, 45 times 45, right? So that one's going to be equal to uh, 45 times 45, which is going to be equal to 1025, 25, 2025. Okay, so uh, what that is, is that is equal to that 9 times 5 squared, right? And this is the 9 times 5. So that's the difference between what we're talking about. This is just times 5. And this is times 5 squared. So that's the difference between the, uh, the new and the dilated. All right, so keeping that in mind, let's do this last problem together. Okay, so once again, we're going to say that this rectangle below is dilated. Now, this one is by a scale factor of 1 fourth. So since this is a, a fraction, so it's less than 1, which is typically we're going to see it as a fraction, we're going to say this gets smaller. Right, and that's what we recognize. It gets this smaller, so we're going to say um, one fourth the size. Right, a factor of one fourth means it's one fourth the size. Right, so the given of uh, of this parameter, right? So that one's just going to be okay. Uh, let's see, the given one, remember, is the old one. Right, we're just going to say that's going to be equal to 30 plus 72 plus 78, right? We're just going to add all those, right? So um, we're going to say that that equals 180. Okay, well, uh, how much is the area? Okay, uh, the area of the old one, okay, is going to be equal to the base times height divided by 2. Okay, so we're going to say if that's the base, right, and that's the height, because you see it 90 degrees, 30 times 72 divided by 2, right? 30 times 72 divided by 2. Okay, if we put that into our calculator, that's going to give us 1080. And uh, as we... Uh, would guess, let's think, we're going to multiply times our scale factor to get the perimeter, right? So if we think about this smaller one, if it's one-fourth the size, that means it's times one-fourth, right? And that will give us uh, the smaller one uh, on each, each of those items, right? So we can do uh, 30 times one-fourth, uh, or we can just, uh, and figure out this one, 72 times one-fourth of that, 78 times one-fourth of that. Or we can know this perimeter of the dilated is just going to be this times one-fourth, right? If we do that times one-fourth, that's going to give us 45, okay? So that's what we need to uh, keep in mind. That's what we're recognizing on this one. Times that will give us 45. Well, then what on, about on this one? This one, we're not going to multiply it times one-fourth. We're going to be times one-fourth squared, right? So we're going to do that. We're going to do 1080 times one-fourth squared, right? So this was 1080 times one-fourth. Okay, so that's the difference right here is that we have that squared there. Okay, so if we do that, that's going to give us 67.5. Okay, so those are our answers on this one. Okay, so... Uh, we could also do the math on that and uh, figure out these sides, uh, but once we recognize that that's all we're doing is that we're multiplying 
uh, that times the factor. So 36 times 5 gave us 180. And then uh, that times the square. So 81 times 5 squared gave us that. So we would say 81 times 5 squared gave us that one. And this one was uh, 36 times 5. All right, so that's it. Uh, so with these two videos, that should give you the uh, notes on everything. So hopefully uh, we do better with it broken up like this. Uh, hopefully that is better for you. And also I want you to look over here. Okay, so you can pause this. That's our first solution. Okay, that's our second solution. Okay, that's our third solution. Okay, that's our fourth solution. That's our fifth solution. And then that's our sixth solution.